Okay, let's go over some powers, polynomials. So first of all, number one, we have to multiply our coefficients, like two, two times three, which is six, and then we have a variable, and we can simplify this using the product rule of adding exponents. So that gives us six y to the first, or simply six y. Number two, we are dividing and we're going to address the fraction part first. So when I simplify 6 twelfths, I get 1 half. I have a variable r, so I just jot it down. Now I'm going to use the quotient rule and subtract top minus the bottom. This gives us a positive 6, so it stays in the numerator. And there's our final answer. Number three, when we have a power raised to a power, we are going to distribute this outside power of four to every power inside the parentheses. Now this is a single term with three factors and every factor has its own exponent. So if you don't see it, I would write it in. And now we're gonna be multiplying this power times each of these powers. So we get two to the fourth, b to the fourth, and c to the negative 12. Let's evaluate two to the fourth as 16 times b to the fourth, and let's reciprocate c so that we have a positive 12 exponent. Number four, make sure that you write this base of x minus four out two times, okay? Don't think you can just square x and square the minus four. You have to write out this binomial twice, and then we're gonna double distribute. So let's distribute the x first and we'll get x squared minus 4x and now distribute the negative 4 we get negative 4x plus 16. Combine the two middle terms and we have x squared minus 8x plus 16. So we have a quadratic trinomial. Number five we're just going to straight up distribute negative 2x and then distribute 4. We get negative 6 x squared, you add the exponents, then we get plus 2x, now let's distribute the 4, we get plus 12x, and then we get minus 4, combine your middle terms, negative 6x squared plus 14x minus 4, another quadratic trinomial. 6, we are dividing this trinomial by a monomial, so we will end with a trinomial. So I'm gonna divide the coefficients and then apply the quotient rule on our exponents. So 12 divided by two, we get six X to the fifth minus five X to the third plus, this is gonna give me anything divided by itself is one. So we still have this trinomial. We have a quintic trinomial. On number seven, we are subtracting this trinomial from this trinomial. So I'm simply going to write the first one with no parentheses, and then we're going to distribute this negative to each term in the second trinomial. We get negative x squared plus x minus two. We're going to combine the quadratics. This gives us two x squared. We are going to combine the linear terms and then the negative nine and negative two to get us, give us negative 11, a quadratic trinomial. And I hope this helps.